In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 through to 39. Then they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers? And likewise those of the Pharisees, but yours eat and drink. And he said to them, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast in those days. Then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece of new garment on an old one, otherwise the new makes a tear, and also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. No one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled, and the wineskins will be ruined. But new wine must be be put in to new wineskins, and both are preserved. And no one, having drunk old wine, immediately desires new, for he says, the old is better. In the scripture reading today, there's a little subheading to this scripture I just read. When does Jesus fast? Because the question that was put to them, to Jesus, why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees? But yours eat and drink, and don't fast. But Jesus said, can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast in those days. And then Jesus told a parable about a piece of garment that was torn, and that person put a new piece on there. And of course, when it started changing, shrinking, it made a bigger hole. And then Jesus compared it also to putting new wine into old wineskins. What happens when the wine changes? The wineskins burst. No, you've got to put new wine into new skins because of the chemical reaction when the wine matures. Then, of course, that very last verse, and no one having drunk old wine immediately desires new, for he says, the old is better. When you drink the old wine, it has matured. The new wine has not, of course, and doesn't taste as good as the matured wine. And so it said, I prefer the old wine, thank you. But what is Jesus talking about here? Fasting. And he was talking about when the bridegroom is there. And of course we know Jesus, especially around Holy Week, as the bridegroom. When the bridegroom is there, you rejoice, you celebrate. But when he is taken away, you then fast. The traditions, the old tradition is what Jesus is basically 
talking about the old tradition. They seem to taste better than the new. But you can't put new into old wineskins. It's all got to be new. It doesn't fit like the piece of cloth on the old garment pulls at each other when it starts to shrink. It's very hard to put on new and old. And so in turn, there is a little bit of a, a rebellion, I guess you could say, for want of a better word. People don't like changes. They're set in their ways. It doesn't feel comfortable. Because what is it doing? It's pulling against each other. It's pulling against the old ways. When the new ways come about. And this is what was happening with Jesus. When he came preaching and teaching the people. He was pulling against what they were used to, the old tradition, the laws laid down by Moses, etc. His teachings were different. No longer an eye for an eye, but you must love your neighbour as yourself. An eye for an eye, in other words, if someone hurts you, you have to hurt them back. But Jesus is saying, no. If someone slaps you on one side of your face, off him the other one. Or if someone wants your tunic, or your shirt, say for instance, for these days, well, off them your, your jumper as well, or your, your coat. This is going against the traditions, the old traditions. You can see that so much these days. People are used to the old ways. And they don't like change. It's like an old pair of shoes. You've broken in, they're comfortable. Why should I put on new ones? But of course, eventually, we have to. So what Jesus is telling us, we must be prepared for change. Even though what we have been doing all these years, we're used to. And this is what was happening when he was talking to the Jews, to the Pharisees because they asked him why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers and likewise those of the Pharisees but yours eat and drink yours do different things yours love love one another is the teaching of Jesus not an eye for an eye, as Moses handed down. Traditions have changed. We too must be prepared to change. Pray to the Holy Spirit that you will understand these teachings of Jesus, that you will understand what is being said here in today's Gospel reading. Jesus has gone back to heaven. He is not with us, but yes, he is. As he said, he would always be with us. God the Father sent the Holy Spirit to help us to understand, to live as Christians, 
we must listen to the Holy Spirit. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.